UFC 2010 feels way different than 2009, and that's because we sped everything up. We didn't just accelerate the animations, we actually reanimated all 12,000 of the animations in the game. And we went through and took out you know, very specific frames to make it flow smoother and transition into other moves smoother. We also added suppositions, swaying, uh, all kinds of other elements to the game just to make it more well-rounded so it feels like a, a much richer, fuller experience when you play it. We do some motion capture, but it's mainly around what happens outside of the octagon or during the introductions. Once you get into the nitty-gritty of the fighting, there's so much branching, it's not really effective to do a mocap of that branching. So we'll get in, we'll, we'll videotape people doing it, and then we'll hand key all that animation. He's trying to turn over and escape. Back on their feet. This year, in 2010, we've actually added some more modes to the game uh, for the single player, uh, as well as a couple of online uh, uh, expansions. So the first mode we added was title mode, and title mode is like a arcade ladder mode. Uh, you start at the bottom of the division, and you work your way through the division of fighters. If you actually obtain the belt in that division, we unlock another mode called title defense mode. And this is like a survival mode. Uh, one loss and you're done, right? And you don't heal completely between each fight because each fight happens every three months or whatever. So you don't have enough time to get all your health back. So you got to be very cautious and win those fights very effectively. If you get injuries like cuts and everything, those easily reopen. You got to, you know, avoid being hit on that side of the face or... Uh, or, the, or the cut could reopen, you get a doctor stopper. So, Another one of the modes that we added uh, was event mode. Event mode allows you to actually set up events just like real pay-per-views. You can go computer AI versus computer AI and watch the event mode, or you can participate in as many of them as you'd like. That also hooks up to our online mode, and you can download cards uh, for upcoming UFC events. So if you wanted to uh, do 113 or 114, you can download the card. If those fighters are in the game, those matches will appear on the cards. You could choose to play them or have the AI play them. We then do something else, which is actually tally the results and report them back so that this can appear on broadcast or on our website. Well, in online mode, we really decided to bring the concept of camps or guilds. Um, every fighter will tell you he's only as good as his camp, right? And, and that's going to be true online as well. We allow you to uh, create a sandbox environment with no time, no refs, no injuries. And you can go in, you can practice all your moves with your camp members. And this is going to make you much better at the game. We also allow your online experience to connect to your career mode. In your career mode, between the fights, you can choose to go online with a camp member and train for a session between each fight. And this gives you a lot more points to spend in your career mode in the development of your character. Dana White is the gatekeeper of quality for the game. We go in front of Dana and Frank and Lorenzo and the whole crew over at uh, Zufa a few times per year. And uh, we bring the game in front of them and, and kind of strut it out for a dog and pony show and make sure that they approve of what we're doing. Uh, even before we start working on the game, actually, we meet with members of their team and go over the design and tell them what we want to do in the next year. They also inform us of what kind of changes are happening to the UFC, which is you know, kind of letting us in on all the secrets. Uh, tell us about the kind of fighters they're going after. Um, we work very closely together uh, all throughout the process, and of course they have approval of our final software, how we're using the license and the software and everything. While we've wrapped on 2010, we're not done with the feature set that we originally set out to do. Uh, in 2009, we kind of got this whiteboard together and we like drew up every feature we ever wanted to see in a fighting game, in an MMA game, in a sports fighting game, and we kind of listed like the priorities out. In year one, priority was gameplay, gameplay, gameplay. Get this thing working because if it's not fun to play, who's going to want to play through a career for 15 hours, right? I mean, so. In 2010, we got onto more of the features that we wanted. We fleshed out more of the gameplay. Uh, we didn't get to everything, and we certainly have another version coming, uh, that that or two, that to take all those features down off the whiteboard. And as as we go year to year, uh, as we see more events, because we all get together and watch these events, you know, on a, on a biweekly basis, uh, we we just keep seeing more stuff we want to put in the game. You know, mixed martial arts is growing, and so is the video game. UFC Underspeed of 2010 will be coming out for the PS3 and Xbox 360 on May 25th. Uh, PSP will be coming later in the year. Frank Mir with the